Good afternoon, YTPC. It's a beautiful 80 degree day in South Carolina, and we're inside doing a custom blend. So my friend Michael reached out, and this is the hero of Tabacchiano, uh, which I'm very excited to do because I, it's just cool that it was inspired by Legend of Zelda. It's one of my son's childhood games. I absolutely loves it. He told me a lot more than I ever wanted to know about Hyrule. But here we are. So we're going to put this blend together for him. Um, it's a lot of content lately, but I wanted to get this out because inspiration comes in fleeting bursts and, and glimpses. And it's really nice when people reach out to me to have them do custom blends for them. So very exciting. And I like it. It, it. it helps me in the blending process. So we're going to make this. This is going to be a vapor blend. Um, it's going to have a couple of reds, a yellow, a lemon leaf, dark burley, dark fire Kentucky, and perique. Um, and it'll be a, a very nuanced blend because that was specific about what Michael wanted. He wanted something that had depth, that made him feel all of the aspects of the landscape of Hyrule, which is the land of Zelda. So this is my attempt at doing that. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Uh, first up, let's put a red Virginia in, because that seems like a fun thing to do. <laughs> and I want to thank all the people that commented on the last video. You know, I, I like to hear, and also, if you haven't gone to Parsimonious Piper yet, you need to do so. He did a wonderful review of uh, Port Marnock, and I feel terrible because he's not a Virginia guy. And I kind of knew he wasn't a Virginia guy, but I thought, well, with the bourbon in it, may, maybe this one would, would sneak past him. No, it didn't. He liked it, but it wasn't his in his wheelhouse. And that's, you know, the great thing about the tobacco community is, is that everybody has different and unique tastes. And nobody's right and nobody's wrong. Smoke what you like. And, you know, you, when you look at all of the, the major blending houses and how many blends they put out, and how many different things that they do is that they're trying to appeal to as many people as they can. And that's why I've come out with so many blends so that I can appeal to more people. You know, I think I'm up at 58, 59 at this point, and, and I've got a couple that I'm working on that won't be uh, videos. I like to do the videos for people that requested them so that they can see the actual process going into it. So we're going to put the first Virginia in. And I'm making a four-ounce samples today. They're going to go in the presses uh, here in a minute. Um, but I won't film that because it's, again, not particularly interesting. Um, but if anybody wants to see that process, let me know, and I'll include it in a video coming up. And we can certainly do that. Somebody the other day messaged me and said, Hey, what kind of bowls, how many bowls do you have? Uh, the correct answer is several and I, because it's tiny house living, I try to buy nesting bowls where it's, uh, they all fit together a bit more conveniently um, just to save space for storage. I mean, the office that I'm sitting in right here is 10 by 10. So it's not a very big house and my office is small and I have this gigantic desk um, sitting here and it's, it's just tiny house living. That's what it is, what it is. All right, so we've got both red Virginias in. Uh, let's put some yellow Virginia in. And let's see if I can remember the number. Yeah. I don't know if some of you have getting older. I've got a little gray in my beard these days. Does anybody else suffer from doorway amnesia where you get up, you walk out of the room you're in, and once you cross through the doorway, you have no idea why you left the room or what you were looking for. That happened to anybody else, or is it just me? <laughs> I get doorway amnesia a lot. I came into this room, and I have no idea what I wanted to do. These are the thoughts that weigh heavy on us. Okay, I'm going to put a little lemon leaf in. I really like lemon leaf. Um, I, I, I kind of bought it and sat on it. Uh, but my friend Tor had said, you know, this is a really interesting flavor profile on this, on this leaf. Where do you use it at? I said, not very many places. 
So it's been going into a couple of blends recently. It's in Chandwick, which is a, a, a very nice, very mellow um, Virginia blend. Um, and it went into Colin Bay, and it went into uh, Tours Blend, which if you give me a second here, I'll tell you the name of it. But, you know, again, that whole thinking thing. Uh, give me a chance. Uh, made a blend for Tor called something Fairborn, uh, which is, I, I really think is an excellent vapor. It's got just a hint of dark fired Kentucky in it, little black Cavendish, a bunch of different Virginias. And I just think it's a wonderfully mellow Virginia blend. And as those of you that know me a little bit, I'm, I'm not the biggest incoming call. Yeah. No, I don't know anybody. Um, I, I'm, I like Virginias, but I like them older Virginias. Um, my friend Luke uh, is actually sending me some of the old McClellan Virginias, and I'm just thrilled because I would love to try those um, just to see what they taste like. Uh, okay, so now we're going to put in a little bit of dark burley because when you have a lot of Virginias, you need something to cool the Virginias down a little bit. When you just have a, a Virginia-heavy blend, in my opinion, uh, they, they can get a tad warm because of their uh, sugar content. Um, Virginias tend to burn a little bit hotter. Um, so I like to put things in that balance it out, that give it, and it gives it a nuance and a depth. Uh, and again, also cools it down. So, and now we're going to put in a little dark fire Kentucky because dark fire Kentucky makes everything better. But not that much dark fire Kentucky. Come on. There we go. And again, smooth, nuanced blends. They have to smoke cool for me. If they don't smoke cool, I don't like them very much. So I try to make everything cool and smooth to start. And then we work on the flavor profile. And then the last thing going in is a little bit of Perique because what's the fun of doing a blend if it doesn't have Perique or Dark Fireman or Latakia or Latakia? I can't say Latakia. It's Latakia. Let's just go with that. All right, so we'll put just a bit of Perique in. Get me there. Get me there. There we go. And now we've got it all fired up. The Tobacco Fairy came today. And I love when the Tobacco Fairy comes. <coughs> I do smoke other things. I love Star of the East from c and uh, I posted a picture. I got some Red Odessa, which is another excellent blend from COD. I, I, I gravitate to English blends. Um, I, I like especially English blends that have Orientals in it um, because it, it, they just give it such a unique flavor profile, and, and I really like them. And as it gets harder and harder to get tobacco and more expensive, I thought, you know, better put a pound of that in the cellar just to be safe to go with the other pound or two I have because... Why not? All right, so let's get the Perique in the bowl, and let's see what we came up with. And I'm trying to use a little smaller bowl for this, although when I'm mixing and blending, I, I typically prefer a little larger bowl, but it's hard to show uh, the, the blend in it um, so that you can actually see it. Uh, so I'm working with a little smaller bowl. So, And then hopefully I can put some Red Virginia, Dark Fired, a little barley in and some Perique in my keyboard today because it really enjoyed the Bosme yesterday. I had to get my son's air blower and blow it all out. And I did. I have put some tobacco in the keyboard today. So I'm very excited. Mission accomplished. You always want to make sure that your keyboard is well seasoned with tobacco. And I really like the tin note of this. It's got you know, again, it's a little Virginia forward, uh, as you, you all saw. So there's uh, four of uh, four different Virginias in it. A little dark burly, a little dark fired. <clears throat> Just a wonderful tin note, and you can see it's got a wonderful light color. Of course, the lighting here is terrible in Tiny House, but it's got a nice, nice color to it. 
So, Michael, this will come out of the press Friday or Saturday, depending. It's got a really nice moisture content. I think it's going to press up very well. Uh, and I will send you a hero of Tabacchiano when it's done. And you tell me what you think. Fair enough. All right, we're at the 10-minute mark. Uh, I am going to work the next two days because I've, the tobacco fair comes a lot these days because I have some free time. Uh, and I have some whole leaf to shred, and I promise I'll make a video out of it. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just shoot one long video and edit it down so that it's a reasonable facsimile that something somebody will watch and pay attention to. So hopefully uh, we'll, I'll start the process tomorrow and then maybe have a video up Thursday or Friday. We'll see. I've got uh, a lot of stuff to take out of the presses on on Friday. A lot of stuff. So, all right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate all the continued support. If you all have any questions, if you want to have a, a custom blend done for you, to, directly to your taste, drop a message in the comments. Uh, Benjamin, I am still working on how to fit Rustica in this. The, this. the Rustica that I got wasn't what I was expecting. So I'm not really sure if it's I just don't like Rustica or this Rustica wasn't very good. So either way, but I'm working on it. So if you'd like to see something, let me know. Drop a comment in the bottom. If you don't want to drop a comment in the bottom, email me at emersonsouthernyahoo.com or message me on Instagram at Emerson Southern Forge, and we'll chat about what you'd like to see. Y'all have a blessed day. Smoke what you like. Don't let anybody tell you different. We'll talk to you later.